If you're looking for directions to and around Black Hawk College, volleyball head coach Mary Davis is your girl. She played and attended here from 1983 to 85, then came back as a volleyball assistant coach in 86 and took over the head coaching job in 1991. She's truly one of the faces of the athletic department here. And now as she faces the battle of her life against cancer, she says her Black Hawk support system is not a team, more like a family. You, you want to have normal days, and normal days for me is coaching. Mm -hmm. um, and I love the group of girls this year. I love walking into the gym. Um, I still want to be feisty and competitive. Um, <laughs> And I just, yeah, it's a good place to be. They're very uh, proclamational about their feelings towards you, too. Talk about how this is, has grown really powerful relationships. Do you think that maybe everyone is a little bit more confessional about their feelings towards each other because uh, they, they want to serve you in a lot of ways, you know? You know what? I think, I think what... We all know this, that we should live each day to its fullest and appreciate everything. Mm -hmm. And I do. I just really, even our bad days, I, I, the days where we don't win or things aren't going well, I still appreciate being here with them and in the gym. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we just got to make the best of every situation. Mm -hmm. um, and I hope I hope I am that experience for them. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't want my life to be about cancer. I wanted to be about who I am. We have to go out and fight for Coach because she comes out on the floor and fights for us every practice. She, she doesn't have to be here. Mm -hmm. Like, she struggles, you know, and I just feel like we owe her that enough for us to play hard every game and come out and practice hard because mm -hmm. she's out here fighting for us, so we have to fight for her. Are there times you look over and say, oh my goodness, you know, you are just unbelievable. I yeah. do, I do. <laughs> I just, I randomly give her a hug and tell her I love her just because, I mean, she is here, you know what I mean? She doesn't have to be, and she is. Mm -hmm. And I, I really do appreciate her a lot. Mm -hmm. I do love her. Now Mary's been doing lots of reading on what heaven is like, and even stories on people who have claimed to have gone to heaven and then were brought back to life. She says she's ready to go to heaven if it comes to that, but she feels like she's got some unfinished business to tend to. Number one on her list, continuing to be a great mother to her 10-year-old daughter. She's the best thing that I've ever done, and there's no scenario that is a good one without us in the future together. Um, and I know every parent wants to be there for their child. Um, I just want to be healthy again. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to go out and jump on the floor or, or play catch with my daughter. And, but I also want to make sure Emma doesn't see this as a limitation either, that I don't use it as a crutch. When I first got diagnosed with a stage four cancer, I was so scared. It's like, Every thought was consumed by it. And I just remember one day I told God I had enough. I needed a break. <laughs> and, um, and he answered that. He, he gave me some peace. And I, I know people are, are praying for me, and I know his hand is in this situation. Hey, Blackhawk athletes and coaches, we've got FCA going on your campus. You can contact me for more information or check out our website as well to find out more about Fellowship of Christian Athletes. You can go to www.fca.org or illawafca.org.